it's without question that one could see only one of the plays or see them one after another over successive nights and feel that you are having a very satisfying experience and it's very entertaining and it's very lovely and, and that you might, in fact, think you know everything there is to know. But I think the real joy is the trilogy days, which are every Saturday during the course of the run, and I believe one Sunday in May and one Sunday in June or July. Is it July? I think, I think July. so, yeah. Um, because that is the event of this kind of theater. Um, I guess New Yorkers are a bit adept to it now because of Tom Stoppard's trilogy at the Lincoln Center, uh, Coast of Utopia. So on, on a Saturday, you go at 11 o'clock in the morning, you see play one, and then you go to lunch. And then at 3 o'clock, you see play two, and then you go have a little early dinner. And then at 8, you see the last play. And you get a chance to spend the entire day with these six characters. And I think it's really only in that kind of way that, that we're, we're hoping and in fact I think insisting all the critics see the play as well the plays is that it's that in that though that day that you see how intricately w- woven the plays are and how brilliant Alan Akeborn has been in, in bringing them to life that must really be physically wearing although it is an ensemble cast so the uh, the uh, I guess the pain gets spread around exactly <laughs> I mean you know we all feel it <laughs> I mean uh I think it's like a slalom, I think. You know, you, you start and it's, you, it's a roller coaster. You just kind of go on it. The and, momentum and you just takes go you on along. It and you're all kind of together. And, and because he, he's such a brilliant uh, ensemble uh, playwright, um, uh, you know, and there are a few scenes where there's four or six characters um, together in, in this sort of, you know, um, sort of symphony of, of, of dialogue and, and action. Um, when it goes well, it's just fantastic for all of us. We just get such a buzz out of it. Because he's written so many comedies and because he's, in, in some ways, when he's done in the West End or he's done on Broadway, it's always in a proscenium theater. And there may be a tendency for actors or a director to have those plays played out Um, I think that's how easy it is for him to be referred to as a farcical writer. And I think sometimes he hasn't gotten the due that I think he deserves as a great playwright because he's not thought of in the same way that we think of O'Neill or David Mamet or Sam Shepard or playwrights that write generally serious plays. And I think that what Matthew Warchus, the director of all three of these plays, has managed to do in attacking these plays is actually unearth the Chekhovian quality that Akeborn has. Um, it is, I must say, painfully funny. I mean, it is side-splittingly funny. And then a second later, um, it's suddenly poignant, and you keep, you know, peeling back the layers of the onion of these characters, and you get you get more information. And in many ways, the audience in this experience are the detectives, and we end up knowing more about these characters than they know about mm. themselves. His objective and is, is to entertain the audience. He wants everyone to laugh. Um, and there are scenes... I mean, every scene has a laugh, you know, even the most tragic scene. I think the themes that he deals with in the plays are undeniably dark. I mean, it's an extremely dysfunctional family trying to function um, under increasing and extreme pressure. You know, I mean, if you look at it, sort of the bare facts of a story, it's, it's very tragic. Um, but because it's, it's handled and written by Akeborn, he brings this um, humour that, that comes from the, the, the deft way he draws the characters and the, the, the dialogue, which is so subtle and, and brilliant, and creates... This, e- each scene is just this perfect sort of comedy. N- no one has ever seen Alan Akeborn in New York in the round, which is the way that he always writes his plays. That The origin of these plays have generally come out of his theater in uh, Scarborough. Mm-hmm. And, for example, when I saw The Norman Conquest at the age of 13 at the Amundsen Theater in Los Angeles as a drama student, I saw them in a proscenium house at the Amundsen Theater. Um, but he writes it for theater. He the writes round. them in the round. He directs them in the round. And Matthew Warchus came to me about a year before we started the production. He said to me, I know this is crazy, and it's idiotic for me to even sheepishly ask you, but uh, the more time I spend with the plays, the more time I think about the way I want to approach them, I wish we could honor the way they were originally done. And so I made the decision to reconfigure 
the thousand seat Persini March Theater of the Old Vic into a theater in the round, and we've done exactly the same here at Circle and Square.